With beautiful conditions expected for much of the week, there is a perfect opportunity to get outdoors, enjoy the fresh air, maybe take a dip in the water somewhere. Yeah, our Barrett Leone is live to explain why that might not be a good idea at one Rochester Beach. Barrett. Yeah, good evening, Tom and Caitlin here at Cascade Lake. There are warning signs at the entrance of the beach telling swimmers that the bacteria levels in the water are currently elevated and that it's unsafe to swim in or drink that water as it could make you sick. A bit of natural vitamin D can do wonders. It is the sunniest day that we've had in it's probably a couple beautiful. days. So yep. we're out at the beach finding yes. water. But since Friday, the water at Cascade Lake comes with a warning label. So last week, though, numbers were elevated. So we decided to post signs, letting people know that that was the case and uh, that swimming was not recommended. Well, we paused, we read it. I said to my sister, is this always here? And she said, nope, I haven't seen that before. And I said, well, we will not drink the water today then, kids. <laughs> the rise in bacteria could be the result of a few different things, such That's as why. runoff, excessive heat on a shallow body of water like Cascade, heavy rain, or oh, oh, oh. from wildlife. There's always bacteria in natural bodies of water, but we try to keep track of it to see if it gets to a point where it could cause some illness. It's a risk some are willing to take. I think there's an amount of risk that you always take when you swim in Minnesota, and that's why we wash, shower the kids when you get home. And If it was gonna be a big enough concern, I'm sure they would have closed the gates. Because if the bacteria isn't here, it's gonna be any <laughs> other thousand places that they've played already, so. While swimming in or drinking the lake water isn't recommended, the potential sickness isn't life-threatening. But if bacteria levels continue to rise, there's a likelihood Rochester's only open public beach could be temporarily shut down. I'm happy that it's kept track of so that we can know about it. It would be really difficult for us to close, but again, we want to do what is safe for the community. Now, the potential illness you'd get from the bacteria is stomach related and could last up to a few days. Now, we haven't heard any reports of swimmers getting sick from the water and the water will be tested again tomorrow and results will be expected within 24 hours. Reporting live in Rochester, Barrett Leone, KTTC News.